hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl adriana dc so today guys i'm going to be giving you my top 10 classic summer fragrances in my collection now i know we all have been overindulging in those bright fruity citrus smelling fragrances but some people just like a mildly sweetened refreshing a little bit bright floral elegant smelling fragrance i mean there's a time and place for everything isn't it so yeah i figured that i bring you guys my top 10 most classy um elegant fruity florally smelling fragrance that i think are absolutely beautiful selections for those summer days you know whatever you guys get up to i think these selections are really beautiful fragrances to pull for so if you guys are interested in seeing my top 10 classy scents then keep on watching if you guys are new please do hit that subscribe button for those of you who are my returning subscribers i truly do appreciate you i really do appreciate you guys supporting me you know um commenting on my videos liking my videos i really do i may not say it often but i really enjoy you know connecting with you guys in the comment section because i um, you know obviously you know this is what i'm here for i really you know enjoy fragrances i really love talking about fragrances and recommending um scents so you know when you guys you know scent talk is my thing so i really enjoy you know connecting with you guys in the comment section so yeah feel free to drop me your favorite classy summer fragrance let's just hear all about it so the first fragrance i'm going to be telling you guys about is a fragrance that i don't actually have a full bottle I have a few samples of it and I've been, you know, trying this fragrance out. This fragrance is called Ala Rose by MFK. Now, I don't hear much people talking about this perfume. I have saw a few reviews on YouTube, but mm, the reviews weren't all that good. But for me, I think this is an absolutely beautiful scent. So Ala Rose is, for me, is a fresh, young, green rose scent. Okay? It's a very, it's a very beautiful, soft elegant rose scent it smells like a freshly cut rose pretty much okay and this perfume it has some powdery touches to it it is very soft you know very pretty very elegant you know very bright definitely you know an ideal pick for those summer days you know whether day or night i think this is an absolutely beautiful perfume i really want to get my hands on this fragrance okay it definitely has that MFK DNA. I want to say what really grabbed me to this perfume. When you spray this perfume, okay, it's a fresh green rose. Beautiful, you know, vibrant rose scent. But when it dries down, MFK has this signature vibe where his fragrances come off somewhat like your skin, but better skin. When this perfume dries down on your skin, it's a beautiful, fresh, sweet rose fragrance. It's not like a sugary sweet, a syrupy sweet, but this is a absolutely beautiful scent you guys i think you guys should oh my god again the dry down on this baby here is what's the highlight now this perfume gives me i would say at least four hours on the skin and then after that you gotta really take a really deep dive into the scent on your skin however this perfume does last when i say last um again it goes to somewhat of a skin scent but there's a beautiful powdery rose scent left on the skin throughout the day um i would say you can smell it um quite strong not strongly because it's not a strong scent but you pro you get up the, the scent is quite prominent within the first four hours you smell it on you the projection i would say is quite moderate but this is a really beautiful scent you guys a very classy i mean this is mf a very classy rose scent with some green touches to it beautiful fragrance i love this perfume from mfk next we have none other than la rose from parfums and malitalina now when you think about fresh bright and classy not before you even think about fresh and bright when you think about a classy fresh you know um, citrusy scent like nothing else comes to mind again now this is a perfume that I often I often mix up the names. I don't know if you guys have been watching my channel. Sometimes I mix up the name of this one for the Ala Rose. I keep on calling La Rose Ala Rose. But yes, you guys, this one is now the difference between um Parfums and Mali La Rose and the Ala Rose is that this one is a bit more sweeter, it's a bit more brighter. The rose is not as young, and the green essence obviously is not present. Now we do know that um 
Delina has that somewhat of a green essence, but for me, it compared to the Ala Rose, this doesn't have that you know prominent green essence. I would say this is a a fresh bouquet of roses. Okay, I would say they pretty much captured the scent of a rose, a wet rose in this perfume, a fresh bouquet of roses with you know um the dew settling on it i would say that they accurately captured this in this fragrance so for me this it comes off a little bit more sweeter more powdery sorry actually actually no the aloe rose is sweeter but there's something more prominent in this one that gives off a more of a classy elegant vibe that's what i would say this one has much more of a classy touch to it the ala rose has a more um it's a little bit more playful i would say i i would say the rose that's used in that one is a bit more younger and fresher but this one definitely has that more elevated classy touch to it i love these scents you guys and i think you know i know this perfume wasn't that well received but i think you know this is a very beautiful scent very enjoyable fragrance especially for those hot summer days so this is ala rose this is la rose by far from zamala Dina. next we have another classy beautiful floral musky fragrance from the narciso rodriguez range and this is ombre for me Narciso Rodriguez definitely gives you class in a bottle. So this one gives you more of a tropical floral vibe, okay? But definitely a classy scent. It's a classy, musky, floral smelling fragrance. I definitely like the essence of the Ylang Ylang and the frangipani to the top or to the opening of this perfume. I think it's a very beautiful scent. When you think about a classy scent, Narciso Rodriguez definitely comes to mind. I would wear it to the club. I would wear it to somewhere a little bit more formal-ish. Somewhere where you get a little bit more dressy -er okay that's where i think i would wear this perfume but definitely an ideal you know classy elegant summer fragrance to pull for during those hot summer days i love this perfume definitely a very classy offering from narciso rodriguez next we have twilly de hermes now everybody knows when it comes to classy scents hermes is the brand you guys the most out of the ordinary different fragrances yet classy floral scents when it comes to Hermes you just can't go wrong and everybody know this is your sweet yeah sweet ginger tuberose jasmine and cedarwood smelling perfume I love this perfume I don't think um, anybody can capture ginger in a better way in a fragrance I really don't think so okay and that jasmine tuberose in the heart of this perfume gives this fragrance a really beautiful floral touch I love this perfume when it comes to classy elegant scents you can't go wrong when it comes to Twilly de Hermes no. some people do classify this fragrance as a mature scent I think anybody within their mid-20s onward would thoroughly enjoy this perfume but this is definitely a very classy smelling perfume very womanly um, smelling scent but a very beautiful one nonetheless with that essence of ginger done really really well you guys so this is Twilly de Hermes next we have another beautiful classy floral summer fragrance from Dolce Gabbana and this is Dolce now this is a simply elegant beautiful white floral fragrance with the essence of papaya and a rolly to the top and of course there's some water lily in the heart of this perfume i think there's some musk in the base as well but for me this is a very elegant floral smelling perfume you definitely get the papaya and the neroli a hint of sweetness to this fragrance i think some musky touches in it but the floral touches in this perfume is so beautiful you guys very refreshing aquatic light beautiful floral scent for those hot summer days you know wherever you're going this right here is an absolute beautiful selection a beautiful pick to pull for very classy florally smelling fragrance somewhat simplified but definitely a scent that you can appreciate you guys i love this perfume and even though i know the juice is green it's not that you know because initially before i bought this perfume i was a little bit skeptical all the other fragrances because of the bright colors you know kind of pulled me in but this is a really beautiful scent you guys a very light 
floral smelling fragrance with those white floral touches in this fragrance a hint of musk in it and of course you know a light sweet essence of that papaya coming through in this fragrance and i absolutely love this perfume i think it's a beautiful scent if you frequent my channel you know how exactly how i feel about dolce and gabbana for me dolce and gabbana is just summer in a bottle you guys so this is dolce and gabbana dolce next we have voulez vous coucher avec moi by killian another very beautiful classy elegant white floral scent definitely a beautiful selection for those summer days now this fragrance right here yeah a beautiful white floral scent with some powdery touches to it there is something that's kind of like um, a little bit screechy in this fragrance that's jumping out at you i'm definitely picking up that ylang lang mixing with the tuba rose in the top of this perfume there's some vanilla as well in this fragrance again this perfume also has in rose but what's definitely starring is that beautiful those beautiful yellow florals the ylang ylang mixing with the gardenia and of course the rose it comes off quite soapy very clean smelling but a really soft powdery sweetness to it from the gardenia okay you definitely pick up the ylang ylang the ylang ylang i wouldn't say it's coming off a little bit screechy in this perfume it's kind of coming out a little bit in this perfume but to me it gives this fragrance a beautiful edge so this is not just a flat linear um white floral scent this is a very beautiful scent somewhat simple but very memorable fragrance in my opinion and again very soapy very clean very fresh very pretty smelling perfume yeah yeah, there's some woody touches to this perfume as well in the dry down yeah but that rose okay the rose in this perfume comes off quite similar to the aloe rose from mfk you definitely get that very fresh somewhat um youthful rosy essence in this perfume but very clean very refreshing very uplifting beautiful powdery floral scent you guys you can't go wrong definitely a very classy elegant scent from killian i think the, the hint of sweetness that's in this perfume carries it off really well there's some vanilla in this perfume it's a very mild vanilla very mild vanilla i would say beautiful scent you guys from killian and if you frequent my channel you know how i feel about killian killian can do no wrong for me i love killian fragrances so this is voulez vous coucher avec moi from killian Next, we have Un Jardin sur la Nile by Hermes. Another very classy, fruity, floral, citrusy smelling fragrance. It comes off a little bit tropical, you know, very light, very eerie, very invigorating, fresh smelling perfume. If you guys saw my, you know, haul of these scents, you know exactly how I feel about these perfumes. Beautiful scent, you guys. Yeah. For me, this comes off citrusy, sweet, yeah, it's definitely some aromatic touches to it. It comes off a little bit, right? Most of the fragrances from this range comes off a little bit um, herbal. It comes off a little bit, you know, I would say they're a bit, um, they're very much aromatic, I would say. There's a hint of spice to this perfume. There is a, um, a bit of a juicy essence in this perfume. I think there's some green mango and grapefruit in this fragrance. So this perfume opens up quite bright, very citrusy, somewhat sharp but there are some um there is some aquatic touches to this perfume that kind of mellows out the sharpness of it when it opens even though it's near the toilet this perfume it, it's not like a bothersome sharpness to it it's more of a citrusy bright refreshing you know opening to this perfume but this perfume is so uplifting so beautiful and this is a near the toilet you think that it's very soft it's it wears soft but this is a perfume that when you spray it on your skin you definitely smell it yeah Woo. yeah that green that green mango definitely hits you when you smell the perfume oh my days i absolutely love this perfume you guys i mean this is you know an out of the ordinary scent but you have to try it you guys i think like I don't think any other brand could capture you with these green aromatic somewhat herbalistic spicy floral scents and you know get you to be into them because usually i wouldn't go for scents like these but for me i can't tell you how much i love this perfume yeah very bright opening tropical yeah those aromatic touches and as it begins to dry down it gets really powdery 
really beautiful scent this is an absolutely vibrant fresh summer fragrance very very classy i mean i think when it comes to the most classy um eau de toilettes hermes all the way i think hermes does those citrusy bright floral um eau de toilettes really really well you guys really really pretty so this is your Anjadin sur le nil next we have idol it's mind-blowing the amount of controversy behind this perfume yet this fragrance shows up in every video every perfume where the word classy is mentioned any youtuber talking about classy scents idol is there you guys it's so weird you know i don't know how that works but for me this is definitely a very a sweet fruity florally musky perfume with some citrus elements to it a very softly sweetened perfume you definitely get the essence of the pear and the bergamot in the top okay but those floral touches in the heart overall this is sweet juicy pear scent with some rosy touches and some musk in the dry down beautiful scent comes off a little bit powdery but definitely undeniably a very classy fruity floral scent for those summer days you guys i don't care what nobody says yeah pretty this is a very pretty scent you guys very pretty very easy reach beautiful perfume i don't see you know i mean i've smelled more basic scents than these i mean i think it's a beautiful scent um, again once again i'm getting somewhat similar vibes in here compared to the aloe rose this just has that stronger pear essence a juicy pear in the top note whereas the aloe rose is more bergamot a fresh rose scent okay and it doesn't have any much fruity fruity touches to that one but the pear in here is really beautiful this is definitely a very beautiful fruity floral scent very classy and elegant for those summer days that you want to either lay out on the beach on a long chair and sip on a mojito or have brunch you know on a you know the pool deck you know whatever it is that's nice and relaxing and you know has that that um that setting where you know you're just laid back and chill this right here you guys you can't go wrong this is an absolutely beautiful summer selection next we have roses and ice by killian now this is a very interesting scent you guys this is a very um out of the ordinary i mean this is the epitome of what you would never ever think a fragrance would smell like but done so beautifully so classy and so elegant i mean who would think that in those summer months people would be walking around here smelling like cucumbers like juicy sweet aquatic <laughs> cucumbers with the essence of some berries some juniper berries yeah slight green aromatic touches to it yeah a hint of spiciness and a very mild woody presence to this perfume this is a beautiful scent above all things what anybody cannot deny is that this is a very unique scent it's a very unique a very pleasant very elegant and an extremely classy refreshing smelling perfume i'm thinking on those hot summer days pulling for this perfume i mean i would have to put on a broad hat to wear this Oh, right. You know what? I'm smelling my hand and there was a really strange scent, but <laughs> I've, smelled, I've sprayed like three fragrances there on this one spot and I think they're clashing a little bit. And I was like, wait a minute. What? <laughs> What's that scent? So that was that whole facial expression. That's not. <laughs> yeah. All the fragrances I've sprayed right here on the same spot seem to be clashing, but you know what it is. I, you know, you run out of spaces to spray. But yeah, for me, this is a very beautiful scent, you guys. Very classy smelling perfume to pull for during those hot summer days. I love this scent, you guys. For what it is, it's such a beautiful fragrance. I'm really happy to have it in my collection because it's a very unique scent. Very different, but definitely a perfume that you can appreciate if you like something different out of the ordinary. But very much a very classy staple from the Killian range. Next, we have Deja Vu White Flower from Kylie, you guys. When we talk about class, it's Kylie. I mean, if nothing else at all, classiness is it. Kylie is class and elegance in a bottle. And I definitely appreciate it. And mind you, 
you know i definitely like my fragrances to get you know a little bit vibrant very playful chic and stuff like that but for me i get all of this in this perfume it's so interesting for me this is a beautiful soft white floral perfume again it dries down somewhat powdery you definitely get that gardenia in the tuberose in the top of this perfume beautiful powdery soft classy smelling perfume i love this fragrance i mean if you saw i recently had this perfume and i love this perfume i can't get enough of this scent honest to god this is one of those perfumes you want to spray on and no matter what you're wearing this just gives you that classy touch that very you know that classy feel this is the perfume you want to put on when you're dressing up you know when you're getting all dressed up you know when you feel good about yourself i would say this is that feel good type of perfume that just you know it just gives you that vibe this is a very classy scent okay this is this is dubai this literally smells like dubai i'm really enjoying these for this fragrance from kylie you guys i love this perfume but as i said to you when you talk about classy this perfume is it right here and i'm kind of like shook because in the space of time that i bought this perfume i want to say the color of the juice kind of changed i would say it's kind of standing out really drastically darker than usual which is you know surprising but yes this is deja vu white flower by kylie definitely a very beautiful classy scent summer scent that you can pull for on those hot summer days whatever it is you're doing you guys this perfume this is a very classy selection okay so there you have it you guys now, these are my top 10 classy summer fragrances for my elegant ladies out there you know some women you know they're a little bit you know we go out and we want to make have a mixed drink some people want to sip on champagne and white wine or red wine or rosé all day you know these these fragrances are for my elegant ladies uh you know for those elegant occasions during the summertime so yeah there you have it if you guys enjoyed this list please give me a thumbs up you guys do not leave without giving me a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe definitely hit that subscribe button i upload you know fragrance reviews and top tens during the weekdays i really drop on saturdays and sundays but if i feel like doing something extra i do give you guys something extra but you can definitely see me on those weekdays and look forward to um videos filled with beautiful selection so yeah please don't forget to hit that subscribe button make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time i upload you guys and until next time see you in my next video bye, -bye.